Uh, hello guys, welcome to my channel. After a long time, I started again with Cigarette C Design. I changed uh, a few things that led to big changes in whole concept. The whole machine is now bigger. Axis travels are bigger. I just started basically all over again. This time I started by designing the Z axis first. And everything else was dependent on this design. So I just uh, gonna quick walk through and take a look. It's done and gonna be coming soon. This is my C1605 millimeter all screw, 400 watt servo motors, moron, directly coupled. I dropped the uh, drive since they are not as reliable as direct coupling. All rails uh, used on the machine are from Heaven and they are 25 millimeters. I am using only flanged carriers. This is all aluminum. Uh, then we have Z, uh, sorry, X axis. Again, 1605 ball screw, 25 millimeter rails, flanged carriers, direct coupling, same servo, all axis of same servo. Since the uh, last design step, I have bigger travels. You can see Z has right now about 240 millimeters. And X is going to be much longer. About 440 millimeters. I'm planning basically the same travel for X and Y. And I redesigned the gantry. This is totally work in progress. There will there will be some changes to make the piece lighter because right now the properties say it's about for over one hundred kilos. It's barely manageable for me. So that's the current state of project. Remaining things. The y-axis needs to be designed. I have a permanence of design. Can you use it? But I have to change motor mount. I have to change spacing here because I want motor to go under. Well, is right now 100 by 100. And it's sitting on base plate, 20 millimeters. Table itself is under 12, uh, 20 millimeters. Basically, Z axis is a beat from technical standpoint. X axis needs a motor mount, a reach in an area to accommodate for motor. Then I have to solve uh, limit and homing switches and of course covering. I'm thinking about cheap belt, uh, like 
rubber accordion stuff from China. You can get them in many variants. I haven't totally looked for but seems good for price and finality. Uh, the only thing remaining on Z is, except for the switches, I have to put slots somewhere in here, in this area, to be able to screw in. Where did it go? Yeah, screw in some screws which you can't access. Right now, I have. Mm, I'm trying idea that. Uh, X axis nut will be off -send, off, uh, off center, so it's accessible from here. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with it. And the uh, biggest challenge will be the brake. I plan to create some mechanical, pneumatic and mechanical brake the Z axis coupler. Because the motor has uh, no brake and a gas spring on the side, just to help with uh, the weight. This is a really big piece of metal. There's something the servo may not be enough to pull it up. Well, there you have it. I'm finally back on the project. Uh, beside the mechanical design, I did create some electronics design. I created a Pino board breakout, the Mesa 7i93, I already have, and some digital I.O. boards for Modbus RT. RTU. And I have the basic idea how the control panel will look. This is just rough. There will be less switches and maybe only two overrides. But right now, this is where I'm going with the panel. I have this uh, Hello Touch 15 inch touchscreen monitor. I want to use for the earth for the panel mounting. Computer this time will be fit in the panel enclosed good because the my previous machine I have some EMI problems. So basically when I every time I switch on the spindle is driven by the the touchscreen stops reacting because the USB cables are running together with the handle cable and uh, just the USB bus doesn't like it. Oh yeah, basically this is what I have now and more is to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I hope soon.